Hello, everyone, and welcome to our weekly update discussion for our risk model uh, in order to get an idea of, what, of the overall sentiment in the US market. Now, we start off today by looking at the trends of the S&P 500. So what you can see here uh, is that last two trading days have been characterized by heavy institutional selling. In fact, uh, uh, trading session Friday last week classifies as a distribution day. Distribution day, according to our definition, is a trading day in which one of the major market indices is down by at least 0.2% combined with high volume. So volume needs to be above the volume of the previous trading day as well as above uh, the, the moving average volume. So clearly what you see on Friday, we had a, another distribution day in the S&P 500. Looking at the NASDAQ, uh, also a clearly a distribution day on Friday last week. So overall, taking a look at the distribution days of all major indices of the US markets, we are averaging out at about four distribution days over the last 25 day trading period. So that's still kind of okay. Now we are getting very much concerns as we would enter a, in a uh, distribution day average of 4.5 to five. So definitely the, uh, an average of five would ring a major alarm bell. Um, we are not there yet. But as you can tell now, uh, couple, last couple of trading days have been characterized by heavy volume, indicating that uh, made the, the big money from, from the big institutions uh, is flowing out of the market, uh, putting a lot of pressure on the existing uptrend, which overall is still very, very much intact. So let's go through a number of other relevant indicators to gauge the overall sentiment of the market. So here, the first one is the up and down volume. So this is trending sideways and a little bit still in an uptrend, but you can see this tick down here over the last few trading days. Uh, this indicator confirms what we just discussed now, heavy institutional selling of the last few trading days, uh, which rings an alarm bell here. Looking at the new highs, new lows of all NASDAQ stocks. So new highs are still higher, are still more than new lows. It's less, the picture is less clear though than what we had in this Two weeks period here now where a new high a number of new high stocks clearly outperformed the number of stocks that made a new low. So it's still intact. Um, but the, the ratio is getting worse here. Uh, so another big reason for a concern or confer concern would be definitely triggered in case we have more new lows uh, versus new highs. The next indicator, uh, what we take a look at on a daily basis is the number of stocks. It's, uh, that, that indicator takes a look at the full US market. A number of stocks uh, below or above the 50 uh, day moving average, what you can see here. Now we are entering a red zone again, uh, and that is because we are back to a situation where we have more stocks trading above their trading below, excuse me, trading below their 50 day moving average line uh, compared to stocks trading above their 50 day moving average line. And this is a very like con contrary, contrarian indicator. Now that doesn't fit basically. We have the major indices now this despite this little pullback here in a very strong uptrend. At the same time, less than 50% uh, of the stocks are trading above the 50 day moving average, which indicates uh, that there's no broad participation in the stock market supporting this 
this uptrend here now, which, which makes, which could potentially make this uptrend here very fragile and unstable. So the advanced decline line, another indicator that's still okay. Now what we normally see is that the advanced decline line peaks and starts its downtrends weeks before the major indices peak and, and start a downtrend. So as long as that is kind of moving sideways, that's, that's neither a positive nor negative signal. So let me summarize what we just discussed added a little text box here. So the general market, now we, again, we see uh, additional distribution days, uh, which are now averaging for uh, over the last 25 day trading periods. Uh, that's advices caution for sure. The up and down volume uh, is confirming the institutional selling and new highs, new lows, now still positive, despite the fact not as clear as what we had uh, one week ago or so. Uh, number of stop, stocks trading above the 50-day moving average is now below 50%, which is an alarm signal. Again, ADL uh, line is neutral. And probably more important now, uh, on top of these alarm signals we're getting from both the price action of the major indices as well as the supporting indicators here, we, we see not much traction and progress of stocks, which we have on our watch list now for, that's ongoing for a number of weeks now, now why we do not, uh, why we're still kind of neutral, slightly positive. It's still a pretty tough trading environment you know, because this little, progress, if, if at all, uh, does not justify the risk we are taking here. And also stock participation uh, is a negative. This is basically, I guess, that's the, the most important indicator here. Now we always take a look at how are the stocks on our watch list performing. And over the last you know, couple of weeks, that has not been very exciting. So I'm, now I'm uh, probably I record another video and talk about a number of stocks that we had on our watch list last week uh, and also talk about the updated watch list for this trading week. So overall, now, um, this like this um, price action over the last couple of trading days triggers concerns. So I personally think uh, it's, it's the probability is increasing that we could potentially end in a, 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 a significant correction in, in this current market, which is definitely a late stage market. Now, I mean, we've been in a very strong uptrend ever since the COVID bear market, now, but uh, it's, it's all late stage now. And the probability for a bigger pullback is increasing and increasing here. So the advice would be you know, in case we see additional institutional selling over the next few trading days you know, as the average number of our uh, distribution day counts is getting closer to five uh, and in case that would be supported by additional alarm signals in the supporting indicators here we would definitely advise you know, to raise cash uh, or to, uh, you know, if it's getting worse even you know, uh, completely stepping sideways and look how this how this market develops. One comment: Now we we have added a section to our homepage, and I put the link to our homepage in the comment section for this video. So we have added uh, a buy sell uh, advice signal for the major U.S. market indicators. Now you can use that to trade the indices themselves, or you can use that to trade US-based, US-centered, uh, centric uh, ETFs. <laughs> At the moment, uh, this is still positive, but again, if, now if uh, institutional selling continues, we will, we will change that advice not to either raise 50% or even 100% cash then. So if you're interested, you can check our homepage for this um, buy-sell advice for the U.S. indices, 
and this is being updated on a daily on a daily level so you can you can use that for for your trading for the for the yes unit system so again i record another video talk about um, performance of some of the stocks we did have on watch list last week and i also talk about our updated watch list for this trading week i hope this has been helpful and uh, hope you all have a successful trading week and talk to you very soon from now thank you